Six, the U.S. inflation rate hits a four-decade high, climbing to 9.1 percent. Gas, food, housing costs, all of them make up the bulk of that increase. However, the impacts go a lot further than you may think. Governor Roy Cooper was in Washington, D.C. today talking about inflation, talking about the state's workforce and other challenges in North Carolina. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. The governor highlighted how the American Rescue Plan helped get people in North Carolina back to work during the pandemic. Critics of the plan say it has fueled inflation. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh. And Michael, what is the governor saying about this? Yeah, the governor still thinks the American Rescue Plan has been an important part of the recovery. The state got some good news today as far as the business climate here, but one economist I talked to issued a warning about what's ahead. We appreciate you. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper has gone across the state highlighting the need for greater access to child care to get more people back to work. On Wednesday, he went to the White House to talk about how the state invested money from the American Rescue Plan in child care centers to make that happen. That trip came the same day a new report shows the inflation rate climbed over 9% in June, as critics point to spending in Washington as a key driver. That American Rescue Plan has been strategic investments to make sure that people can live their lives and have a good job and take care of their children and get the training that they need. Republican Senator Tom Tillis said inflation is out of control Wednesday, adding President Biden and Democrats are pushing for more wasteful spending and tax hikes that will make inflation even worse. Inflation is worldwide right now. We know that families are hurting. I talked with NC State economist Mike Walden. So I think it actually made sense for politicians, again, under two administrations, to push a lot of money into, into the economy. But yes, I think we are now seeing some of the adverse impacts of that with higher inflation. Have we really peaked yet with inflation? I, I think this could be the peak. He says with gas prices dropping, he expects the inflation rate to come down too, but he thinks we're likely heading toward a recession. So in some sense, it's trading one bad thing for another bad thing. There was some good news Wednesday as CNBC ranked North Carolina the top state for business. Walden says if a recession does occur, North Carolina should be impacted less severely than other states. Walden also said with major companies like Apple, Google, and electric vehicle maker VinFast all bringing jobs to North Carolina, that this could be a place that people could come if they lose jobs in other states. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.